Hey guys, what's going on YouTube? My name is Mei Panboy and today I will show you my the entire phone collection as of January 14, 2013, 23. So I have a lot of these for like counting about probably 130 phones. So yeah, let's get started. So I arrange the phone from phones. So from we have uh, the candy bar phones. Um, up to that small thing we have and keyboard phones, sliders, flip phones and smartphones, a touchscreen device and smartphone. So without further ado, let's get started with the brick phones first. So um I have three um brick phone with antenna. We have first of all we have a fake Samsung SGX um 200 um it's a fake device and um i don't know it works it does work actually um and yeah but, but i don't have the way to test it um here we have a motorola um what's it um t um something um i couldn't find anything information about this one and this one's completely unknown to me no battery here is a ut starcom something on cd phone which is a vietnamese um First CDMA network. Um, I don't know if it works or not. I don't have the battery for it, and it takes a AC adapter as a charger. Now we'll come to the Nokia device. I have a Nokia sixty two twenty ten. Um, this one doesn't turn on. I have a Nokia thirty three um ten. Um, this one worked, but I don't have the battery for it. Here is the Nokia. 8250 um i do have a battery for it somewhere um it takes a very kind of special looking battery is right here i have this battery right here so i will turn it on and it doesn't really read the sim card well so i'm not going to put that yeah mm. Next phone we have a Nokia, um, Nokia eleven ten um i on stop start in any carriers branding and it is unlocked. I'll we'll put a um, Viettel SIM card to turn it on. Huh? That's weird. It says the SIM card is still rejected for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I, th I think something is wrong with the SIM reader on this one. It just say um, SIM card rejected. I actually don't know why, but yeah, it was just that laggy. Hmm. Yeah, but it works. Um, I got able to was able to um call stuff like that. Here is a uh, Nokia twelve o two. It came with a. Vina Vietnam mobile um, cart and I got this one for free cheap only one dollar and it is a fully functional device it's almost little new year by the way um next we have a Nokia 1202 this one um, I believe it was locked to Viettel because I wasn't able to put any um Vina phone or mobile phone card on it. Okay, and this one apparently it says it's on cellular one, but I couldn't find any information about that. I'll put the card out. Because I need a couple of these phones, will need the SIM card to turn on. And we have an Nokia 1280, um, very common device in um, Southeast Asian Asia nation. Huh. I also have a couple of spare SIM cards just in case something goes wrong. There's that one. Hold on, let me 
pulled the SIM card out and we'll be right back. The next one is the Nokia 208. Now this one, um, it had a, a broken speaker, so it's in this problem. Yeah, I don't know why it was wrong with the speaker on this one, but it was just fine. Next, we have a Nokia 1661. This was passcode lock, but I was able to bypass it. It was just was just um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not on Sprint PC as someone put it in. There we go. And next we have a Nokia 1800. This one has a good battery. Used had used to have a good battery, but I took it out because it was bl was blowing up and it refused to charge. There we go. Um, next one is Nokia X One. Um, do we have a battery for this one? Um, yeah, that, yes, I do. It's all over there. I have a lo lots of battery. Um, to power some of these devices on. Let's see, uh, this one takes a BL5J, this one. Um, the front speaker is broken, so there's no, um, there's no key sound playing on this one. I want to keep this battery and use for all the device that need require that connector. We have here we have a Nokia 105. Very simple, straightforward device. Um, here is the Nokia 106. This was my first phone. Um, it had a SIM card already, so uh, yeah, it wasn't the original SIM card. It was technically one of the very last, um, I believe, um, S30 Nokia device. Um, there was a, um, there was actually a, um, a dual SIM version of this one, but I, I don't have, I haven't seen that yet. Now we move on to some of the like um, more modern looking Nokia device. Um, first of all, we have a. A Nokia 6610, this one is brick, so I cannot show it works. Say contact service. Here is a recent find, this is a Nokia 3120. It is um, on Optus, um, an Australian carrier, so I can can demonstrate that this one turn up works fine, but I was, wasn't able to unlock this one, so um, yeah, it was sad, but who cares anyway, and I'm having a Optus card um, delivered. Um, by a couple by months. Now, um, here we have a Nokia thirty uh, two twenty. Um, this is a actually had a singular branding, but I couldn't see it anywhere on the phone. So that's weird. Um, this one used BL five B 
right here. A couple of these Nokia use BL5B. The light worked, but the loudspeaker is broken. And I got this one for fairly cheap, I believe. Um, um, two, I believe two, uh, a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. The next one is going to be the um, another Nokia um, that uses the same form factor as this one, which is the uh, 7260 right here. It's a small leaf. It's, we all, we usually call it a small leaf, and the big leaf refers to the um, another different model, um, which is the 7610, which I couldn't find it on the flea market for some reason. Now this one has a more function keyboard, so I so I can't really use this. And the speaker is broken as well. Okay. I do have a couple of Nokia that use this uh, BL five C maybe battery. Here is a Nokia 6020. I got this one from a trade with a YouTube friend. Yeah, this one has a working speaker and the keyboard is working. SIM card on on register. Mm. Um, the three sixty thirty I have this one turned on, but have no backlight, so I will move on to this one right here, which is the um, the one I got um, years ago. I want to turn on two of these uh, at the same time. Two of these. Um. And I will have another one of these um, which had a better screen, so I will turn that thing on as well. And I got this one for $2 at the free market. and. Yeah, it was a very good choice because apparently this one was in pristine condition for the most part. The LCD wasn't technically great for the age. Huh? Or not. There we go. It's kind of sad. I believe the backlight on this one is going to fail at any time soon, so yeah. Um, and um, the 26230, this one doesn't turn on. This one had a burn polarizer like this, so I'm not bother to um, put a SIM card in. These are the 6230i, and for some reason, um, there is a line across the screen for some reason. I don't know what when it calls, but I think that's a big problem with this one. <clears throat> yeah, it's not much to say about this one other than it had a burn polarizer. Here's another phone trip with a friend, it is 6080, um, 6070, I mean, the 6080 um, is the same phone, but with different housing. It wasn't. It, was, it used some of the later um, STN display, so which means it kind of look kind of blurry. 
but oh well um got this one from a trade um uh, here we have a um nokia 7360 it is a it is working device but it had a white screen so i will need to have this um fix um i don't have the screw for this so i can replace the lcd see the lcd is white Yeah, the LCD is all white. There's not much to say about this one other than it works. So that's good. That's a good sign so far. Okay. Now um these phone will accept on that one will require will not require SIM card, so let's start with the 22626. Um this one had the back, so I will um, I do have a battery, another battery somewhere around here that works. Mm, where is it? Um, where's the? Where's the? Um, let's get take this one. Uh, this battery came with this one. It actually works. So Yeah, two of the same device. So I'll start up both of them at the same time. I want to put that battery aside and we'll use that battery for another phone. Let's cover this one. Um this is the Nokia 6300 60, Sapphire. Um, this one does not require the SIM card, so many of these S40 device later device will not require a SIM card. Oh yeah, no, remember this one. This one had a hard power button to use. There we go. Yeah, this one had a hard power button. Uh, I do have a couple devices that use uh, this battery more. The two thirty five hundred classics. This one turned on, but had a bad LCD, so I will turn this one on. This one had a um, bad speaker, and that is the only problem. Yeah, the loudspeaker is broken, but the front speaker is working. So I will consider um, replacing the speaker. Um, um, replacing the speaker um, from this one to um, this one right here. Mm. And here we have the Nokia fifteen O. Um, 1508. This is a CDMA device, so I will need to put a S phone card inside here. This is a I believe a Chinese device, a Asan Chinese CDMA. Yeah. I wasn't really able to charge with this um, adapter right here, so I'm not sure why um, it isn't charging, but oh well, I got this one for from Facebook. I, I have a couple of these phones from Facebook. Yeah, battery low. Uh, I do have a couple of these um, upcoming CMA devices that require that card, so... Okay, um, now we have the Nokia, um, see, um, this part that covers 2600C, this 2600 Classics, um, it used BL, um, what's it, what kind of BL battery it take? It take BL4B 5CT battery, which is right here. 
I just bought this one, um, this. Um, now this one had a bad LCD, but you can see, stop like, stop on screen. So, something like that, 3500C, right there. It's something like that one. Um, um, this doesn't have any really disc option, so if I see a working one, I might end up selling this one for parts. Um, but, um, this both speaker work, the LCD, is E is the only problem, but yeah. And I'll use this battery. There will be one more Nokia phone with that use that battery. Here is the Nokia eight sixteen eighty C. Um, this one I think it had a battery on it. Yeah, it does have a battery in it. This is the only um, one of the only uh, one thousand series that um, use the that optimize the use of the S forty device S forty operating system. Most of the one thousand series are um, are S thirty. Here we have a Nokia twenty seven thirty C. Um, does it want a good battery? Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one, the battery, this one doesn't hold a charge, so. It support 3G, so which is a good thing. Not a lot of these phone support 4G anyway. 3G anyway, I mean. And I got this one for you brand new and wasn't really, never really used, which is surprising me. There, this is the Nokia C, um, C1. Yeah, C1, C101. It still had a battery in it, but I think it's gonna be there soon. I'm actually surprised that there is a working charging charge battery inside it because I haven't used this for a while. Next we have a Nokia C201. Now I believe this one has a dead battery. Yes, it does. This battery holds a charge anyway, so it does hold a charge, so. Now what surprised me the most is that this one was literally the 2730C but with different housing and firmware so that it has a guitar startup sound other than yeah, yeah. but it's just basically the um, the more kind of more modern C 2730C um yeah I'm actually looking for a 2730 which I used to have so and here is a Nokia 206. This is the most modern um, 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 Nokia S40 device that I have. Uh, it was at least uh, 2012, 2030 and stuff. I do not have it working for BL4, 5, um, 4. I don't have a working battery for this one, so I have to pull this um, 5J battery um, against Guntag. In order to line, the phone works other than that. Yeah, for some reason it kept the date in 2012, 2022. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, now, we have five last Nokia device that use the S60. Um, well, I do have a couple more Nokias coming up soon, but these are the last um, basic phone. First of all, we have a Nokia 6680 prototype. Prototype because um, it's a very rare um, type and it works just fine. There is no problem whatsoever with it. I will, um, these devices take a long time to turn on, so I will 
turn them on at the same time. So it's battery charge. There we go. And here is a reason I really got this one. This is an N72. It had a charge battery in it. The LCD is kind of have some problem to, uh, to it. Here we have a Nokia E52. Um, this one, I do not have a battery for this one, so I have to pull this battery against this contact. Which is not easy to do. Yeah, it's not easy to do on... Sorry about that, uh, I actually pressed the um, button, but both of them work just fine. There is not no problem on both of them. And the E52, I will... Um, yeah, I would come to this one first. This one is an N79. Now, this one has a problem, which I actually just, uh, reckon, just realized a couple of while back ago. Wait... Yeah, that is a problem. I'm not sure why, but it just keep on this thing and will not boot up to the operating system. I'm not sure what's wrong with that. Uh, I have not um, done further investigation on that. But this battery works, so I will use this on this one. I do not have the battery for the E51, so I will have to daily change one of the... Got it. So as you can see, the E51 is turning on. And the power on this one is missing, so it's kind of hard to um, do this on one hand. I have two more E device um, coming up. So, yeah, I will have a... There we go. Okay. And where's the back of that? Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, we already talked about the N79. We have a um, Nokia 5320D Express Music. This one used BL um, 5B right here. Um, where is it? Um, oh, the 5B may have been somewhere else. Um, here, here, here. Here we go, the 5B is right here. This housing is kind of loose, so I might, might have to buy a new housing for it. Now, that does it for Nokia bar phones. Now, I will still go on to other brands. Um, first of all, we have a Samsung SGCH um, B309. Since this is a CDMA device, I can just put any SIM S phone card, but for some reason, this one apparently can turn on with this um, GSM card. And the Samsung battery is um, there. There it is. It's over there. I only have one working Samsung battery, so I will just turn um, this one on. It actually is a surprise to me. Um, it says it's an RUI card, but when you put a G that's when you put a GSM card. When you put nothing in it, it will just Say a card is empty and it will not go to the menu. S phone card oh, I support this one. And the uh, free the remaining Samsung device will not require a uh, SIM card. Um so oh. 
There we go. This is a um, Samsung, it should say on startup. GTC3212. Zero services lab. I don't know who put that. It's quite weird. And this is actually a dual SIM Samsung device, so it's quite late in the development. Um, the Samsung GT E1080 this one doesn't do anything. It's completely a brick. Um, this is the in E1050 Um, I believe the uh, owner of this one is uh, this is actually maybe been an at t device before but it was flash so Okay, um, now we move on to the LG device. Um, this is the, actually the rarest LG device on my collection. This is the LG MB1700. Um, now, I do not have the battery for this one, but I can probably turn it on um, using a, a Motorola battery, which you will be surprised that to see that coming. Now this is not a movie star device. Someone flash it to on something else. Okay. Um, the uh, next phone we are going to um, have a look on is the. Let's see, put a card out on this one. We we'll use this for a couple of these other phones. Got it. Next phone is the LG um, B2100. This is with um, Boyes, which is um, which is a um, let's see, do I have a card for this one? Oh, I mean, I see um, Vodafone. It's right here. No. Yeah, I'm. Um, I do have a card for this this one somewhere, but I don't have it right it right now. So I will put a bag for this one, which is in this LG right here. Yeah, now I will have something to say about this one. This one does actually support a um, S1 card for some reason. It just, you just say emergency stop, but it will just um, put it on the... will be able to put it on menu. Um, this battery, I'm not sure if it works or not. It doesn't re re recharge. And here is an LG KP100. Um, this one, I don't have a battery for this one, but I can put a Nokia battery it in it to make it turn on. I will use this uh, card for a couple of these other phones. Let's see, do we have this? Um, we have four Motorola bar phones, three of them are CDMA. So this is the W200. Uh, we had a, we need a S phone card to turn on, and this is the battery that came with it. I had to put it aside because it would make um, a kind of annoying sound when the battery is low. 
and when it turned on, it would just beeping, beeping, stop like that. So it's kind of annoying. So um, there's that one. I will put this battery outside. Um, this is a Motorola W um, one seventy. It is with um, HD mobile, and I don't have the HD mobile card for it, so I can't do anything with it. Uh, I will show you this one. What that one turned on it is the Moro W210. It is a S phone variant of that one, except in color. I'm not sure this battery will charge or not, but we have to have some charge or not. But we'll see. Yeah, it still has some charge in it. And I believe that it was the last device that used the S phone card. And the last moral device I will turn on on is the um Whatever this is, the W three sixty. Uh, this one has a uh, is unlocked, so I will turn it on. And um, now we are moving on to the um, the Sony Ericsson device. Um, starting out with the uh, T six thirty, I do not have the battery for this one, but it does turn on. Here is a K six hundred I. This one is I'm not sure. This one is passcode lock, so I can't really do anything with it. And it is on. China Telecom There we go It has a path it is passcode lock so I can't do anything with it Let's put a couple of this on here since it's up next See it asks for the passcode so yeah, I think it's Chinese China Telecom or something like that. The next phone um is the Sony Ericsson um JM two thirty I. Let's see um. This one I got for thirty thousand Vietnam dong um. $1.50 Okay uh, The next phone we are going to um, turn it on is the W800i now this one has a uh, ha is in really really poor condition, but it turns on. I do not have um, anything. It's in really poor condition, but it works. So that's all you should know about this one. Mm, let's see. Can I uh, pull the sink out with one hand? Yes, I can. 
And here we have two J100i. We'll turn this one on. That one on the right one doesn't turn on. It is broken. I will have some housing swap uh, in the future. But I don't have the tool um, just yet. This is a Chinese this device as there is no Vietnamese option. Huh. Yeah, can't really shut that down. Um, yeah, I just say um, this one doesn't this one doesn't turn on. The Seaman, I don't have a battery for any of them, so I cannot test them, but this one does turn on, and I couldn't test that one. The mobile, um, this one doesn't turn on. M2, um, M220 doesn't turn on. Mobile Rockstar, uh, the battery, I believe it just gave out when I put it in charge and nothing happened. Really? But it still worked. This is the M269. See, do we have a battery working with this one? Yeah, here it is. It is a BL5C. This is the only Spectrum, one of the two Spectrum devices I have. Oh yeah, I remember this one. This one's being abused quite a lot. Yeah, I may think this one has May have something wrong with the back, wrong with the board because it's not turning on anymore. There we go. Um, I said the password with this one. And I had a couple of the uh, now lower brand device. We have the B APC B five hundred silver. Now I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but it doesn't turn on with the B L five B battery. Or normally it should. Um, so I will um put a five uh, C battery in it to make it turn on. Okay, um, next one is the uh, Mobistar B220. It's another media check device. Here is a Huawei Mistway. Um, this one, I do not have a B-Line card for this, so it would just say um, to insert a correct card, insert a uh, correct card. Um, Huawei Mistway um, T220. Um, T it is locked with um, um, G phone, B line G phone, and I don't have a card for that. Um, free Viettel device. This is a ZTE V6202. This one will we only show the white screen, but it turns on. Um, Okay, that's all you should know. Um, the um, V um, six two one six. Um, do I have a battery for this one? Um, it takes a VL something for you. Um, it takes VL for you, and it does work just fine. 
Oh, this one, that battery is bad, so. I have like two minutes of recording rep, so. I'll just um, hurry this up. This is a Viettel V62117. Um, I do not have a battery for this one, so I'm going to use um, a battery, another battery. And I only have one minute of recording left, so I will um, delete some file and we will be right back. Alright, so we are back. Here is the Mastel um, Family 12, a uh, elderly phone. I got this one brand new and never used. I believe this is, was some of the one of the last uh, media tech device. This is an Avio A101. It is with Vina phone. And the next phone is the um, LA Star BM10. Is the mini mini phone? We'll come back to that one later on. Um, but now let's start with the keyboard phones. I have um, eight keyboard phones. BlackBerry 7290 it is on T-Mobile, as you can see on... Uh, there we go, it's on T-Mobile. Um, um, this one's brick. BlackBerry 7100V is in very terrible condition. It's on Vodafone. It doesn't always work um, like... Sometimes when I uh, try to turn it on, it will just say um, app error, but sometimes it will just um, boot up normally. Um, I don't have a Blackberry that works with this one, so um, so for the most part, I will use the BL5C battery. But yeah, I'm not going to wait for that to turn on. Uh, I have four free um, Nokia keyboard phone. We have a Nokia E71. The E series, this E, these E series uses a um, big battery, the B B P four L. I only have one working. The, the other B P four L just expanded. So yeah, that is the E fifty one seventy one. The next phone is the toned down version of the E71, which is the E63. This one had a broken loudspeaker, so it wouldn't um, play the startup sound. Uh, 
Uh, let me show this one first. This is a Nokia X2 one. Um, yeah, last because this one's broken. We'll show the, that one later. And uh, we'll use this battery for one more phone after this one. This is a uh, Nokia X201. I just lost it back for this one somewhere. But this one had a bad LCD. And we would have to get a, an LCD fix on this one. So, yeah. Yeah, we have a BlackBerry Curve clone. This is an APT M99 3G. This one uses BP4L. There's two power running in this one. It is on mobile phone. Yeah, I'm not going to put that battery aside because I don't want the, this thing to uh, expand the, this battery. Here is the LG um, C100. This one um, this one turns on but none of the keyboard functions. So, let's see if I can. I was able to, do, to start this one up. Uh, I do not have a battery for this one, I just lost it somewhere. Yeah, I'm it's not born in Tony Gone, it's a generic LG device. And the power and the buttons fell out. And here is an only Android keyboard device, it's an HTC Cha Cha 4G. Um it has a dead battery inside, but it's still turned on and it works just fine. Now we are moving on to this lighter phone as we wait for this one to randomly die by itself. I have like um, three, six, nine, ten slider phone. Yeah, we just um, tend to shut up. Um, for the slider phone, I have the Samsung SGHD 410. Um, I do not have the charger of this one, so I cannot test it. Do it just on the battery, though. And, uh, am I able to turn this off? Yeah, it just froze. Yeah, that battery is dead. This is a Samsung SGH F400. A uh, very cool little slider phone. It's kind of one of the more modern uh, in the lineup of Samsung device. Alright, let's see. Right. Yeah, right. It is on orange. But it's unlocked, so you can put any SIM card possible. So, yeah, very cool little slider. Here is a another Samsung slider. This is a um, GT. Uh, we will show you all when it put up. It doesn't require a SIM card. GT S thirty one hundred. This was uh, I believe around the time when uh, Fun Club Samsung Fun Club just shut down. Yeah, I think someone just put cellular one in it, but I'm not sure. Sure. I uh, do have a couple of flip phones that use this battery, so stay tuned. Now we move on to free Nokia slider. Nokia 6111, this one doesn't work. It's broken, doesn't do anything. This one is a 6288. The flex cable is broken, so I cannot do anything with that, but but I, I can just still turn it on and the LCD doesn't show anything. 
This is the Nokia 53 um, Hungry Express Music and I do have the battery for this one. It is i 45 b and I'm actually surprised that it actually still turned on. Um, Sanyo SCP, uh, no, Sanyo S750 on orange. I don't know how the battery for this one, so it's unknown. Um, Mobistar F535 it is a generic media tech device that do media tech stuff. Yeah, I might have to get cop might have mm, the copyright strike on the case of the star sound this one. I have two more one more movie star phone to show. Um here we have an LG KS360 or LG Neon, whatever you call it. It works, but I think the battery, I don't have the correct charger with this one, so it doesn't really do anything, but it does work and I was able to test it fully. Here is an HTC um, Hero, Hero 100. It is a window phone device. Um, it, it, I break this one, I break this one. This one has a broken flex cable and it now doesn't turn on anymore since the battery of this one is blown. Now we move on to flip phones. I have a lot of flip phones lately. I just get first of all here is the Motorola StarTac um one thirty. It's my dad's first phone. I do not know if it worked or not. It had something wrong with the. I'm not sure it worked or not. I have two Motorola Razor. Um, they are different model razors. And um, I'll show this one. This is a V uh, three um M. On Verizon, it was the cheapest one I got from online, and I got this one from a flea market for let's see how much money I paid for this one. Um, oh yeah, I paid um fifty uh, thousand Vietnam dong um two dollars fifty um for this one. It's a V three I. I saw a V three on a flea market, but it had it had problems. It had major problems. So and it doesn't say this one doesn't read SIM card, and this one has some problem with the. Uh, Water damage indicator. You see, it just automatically turn on and it will say unauthorized charger, which I have never seen on other devices before. Maybe it had to do with the red water indicator. But opening up, you see they are kind of like the same device, but they are slightly different. I don't have, don't have the, yeah, it would just say unauthorized charger. So, yeah, pretty weird for a mobile uh, phone to do that. So I will turn the V3i on as well. This one had a damaged um, SIM card tray, so it won't read SIM card anymore. And it is in Vietnamese, so which is a good thing. I'm looking for the original V3, so yeah and that is the uh, last one that used the uh, razor battery um, this is the Motorola W220 and this one is broken doesn't turn on doesn't do anything at, at all here is a Nokia 2650 this one shows sign of light but the LCD is, is broken so can't do anything with that this one is a Nokia 6170. This one is doesn't do anything at all. Um, nothing happened when I put the power button on. Nokia 60, um, one, um, 6101. This one, here we put it simple on it. The hinge is broken, but the phone is still working. The hinge is broken, but it's still turned on.
the backlight, neither the backlight works. Probably due to the, the hinge problem. And next one um, we have is the Nokia right over there um, 6060. Now this one use a BL5B battery so I will pull this uh, cover off again to take the 5B battery that we need. And put a SIM card on it. This one is a Chinese device, so it doesn't have Vietnamese option. Why I'm here is the 6085 that I also got from the same as this one. This one doesn't require SIM card, so I'm able to turn this one on without SIM card. The polarizer is broken though yeah you can see the polarizer is broken hmm. and that does it because I don't don't have any more Nokia phones to turn on. But I do have a couple of uh, other devices that require SIM cards, so yeah, fun. <laughs> yes. Um. Now we move on to four, five Samsung flip phones. Here is the oldest one on them, the X one sixty, and and with the exception of the Convoy two, all of them share the same battery. So I can just um, put any Samsung battery possible. And the next phone is a CDMA device, the uh, Samsung SCH. Um, the um, S one sixty nine. The SIM card is in one of the S phone. So I will put this. Uh, check this out and put the card in. I only have one working Samsung battery. So. Kind of sad, but. Who cares? Uh? Yeah, you see, it is it recognizes the S one card. And yeah, that is the last device that you that you need in S one card. So I would just put it right here. Next phone is the Samsung SGX X six eighty eight. Now this one doesn't work. Watch. This one boot loops. Next is the um, the Samsung. It will show you. It will um, it will show it when it turn on. The um, SGH um, CU sixty. Okay. The keyboard is this one doesn't work. And that was the last device that used this Samsung battery because the next one used a bigger battery. Here is the Samsung Convoy 2. Uh, this ZTE C220 on S phone. Um, I do not have a battery for this one, so I can test it. LG HD156. Now, this is actually a CDMA device, but you can turn on without a 
all you item card. I don't know why, but it will work. Yeah. Nothing much special about this one because all of that is really rare and I couldn't find any information on that. Um, the uh, Motorola backflip it is on at and and it does not work anymore. It just um, brick. This is a Nokia 7370. I put it um, different because it actually is the only swivel phone I have in my collection. It uses BL 5B, 4B right here. This is a 5CT, 5BT. Um, The last speaker, this one's also broken, so pretty sad, but yeah, but I got this one for pretty cheap uh, as well. Okay, now we have a lot, a lot of smartphones to come uh, around, and I'm not going to turn on many of them. Uh, Samsung Store, the touchscreen is just die of this one, so I can't do anything with it. Samsung, um, oh, Samsung Genoa, um, how the touch doesn't work, so nothing special. APT B87 or something like that, it works just fine. Nokia Lumia 530, um, this one's brick, can't do anything with that, it just split loops. Nokia Lumia 950. It works just fine. It is on AT&T, Microsoft Lumia. iPhone 4S, this one's brick. Doesn't do anything, wanna plug in, it just flash the Apple logo. iPhone 5S, it's dead, but it works just fine. LG Optimus Me, this one had the burn polarizer, but it does work just fine. Um, I knew i6000, just show the backlight, that's it. Samsung Galaxy, um, can I see, um, does it, does it have a battery left? You can I see Trend Plus, which is fine, just had a back in bad condition. Samsung Note 3 Nail, it does work, but it had a broken LCD. Um, Mobistar, yeah, this one had a dead battery. Lajuna, this one worked, but it had a dead battery, it's bad. So, there you go, the Lumia. 950 Mobi Star, um, no, S4, uh, no, um, Qui Mobile, Qui Smart, Qui Fi, something, something like that. It just, it, this one's brick, um, it just say on the Qui Smart logo. I'll put more, I'll make that later. Um, Nokia TA1033. This one has a battery left. Yeah, this one had the battery, but it worked just fine. And last but not least is the V Smart um, Joy Four. It works just fine. Let's see. Uh, I'll turn this one off. The touch screen, this one this isn't, isn't really responsive. There we go. We'll press OK. And uh, VSmart just um, kill up, so yeah. I have like 30 seconds of recording, so I have just better hurry up, or otherwise, I will have to end the video. We have 2% left. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys next time on the next video.